Hi, this is Tim with Shop Tool Reviews. Stick around in a few moments because we're going old school how to. See you in a moment. So this is a three-part series we're doing on rebuilding a quadrajet carburetor. I know, I know, you're asking how many decades has it been since we've seen carburetors on cars. Well, we're actually stepping back to 1971 with this, but if you've seen a quadrajet carburetor, you've pretty much seen them all. There's not a lot of difference in between these carburetors. So we're gonna talk about them. We're gonna talk about some of the things that ails them. Uh, we're gonna also talk about some of the things that are great, uh, great about them. And in this case, this is what came on our OLS 442. So this is what we wanna keep on it to keep it period correct. Uh, so we're going to go through the rebuild process here. Step one or, or part one of the series is going to be uh, basically uninstalling the carburetor from the car and disassembly of the carburetor. Part two, we're going to get into rebuilding the carburetor. And then part three will be reinstalling the carburetor and then tuning of the carburetor. So stick around for all the series. And we're going to get into it right now about disassembly of this carburetor. So this is the Olds Rocket 350 here. We're removing the carburetor. And first thing we're doing is removing the fuel line. So a couple of wrenches to remove the fuel line. Then we're gonna put that over into a uh, into a, a dish there to drain the gas. And then these four half inch bolts. So very easy to get out. Uh, shouldn't be too tight. Uh, a lot of problems are people over torquing these. So you definitely don't wanna do that. So we're gonna remove these four bolts to remove this carburetor. Uh, pretty simple operation. Nothing specific here, easy to get to, should be easy to tell, you know, which bolts need to come out. Uh, then next, just going to take a, uh, a flat made screwdriver, you can take needle nose pliers or what have you, and remove the, the throttle linkage pin here. So once we remove that pin, then the throttle linkage pretty much unhooks, unhook, unhook the vacuum line, and we've got the carburetor off. So uh, there you have it, removing the carburetor off the Olds 442 and ready to start disassembly. One of the elements of the quadrajet is that the well plugs like to leak. The well plugs sit down below the fuel bowl where the primary and secondary uh, metering rods or jets actually live. And they'll like to, to, to drain off or to leak a little bit. And as you can see in the intake here, this pooling of, flu of fuel, and that causes some hard start issues. And also uh, it drains all the fuel out of the carburetor. So your fuel pump has to compensate for that when it tries to start again. So here's the Rochester Quadrajet sitting on the workbench, ready for us to disassemble and uh, start the cleanup process. So uh, here we go. So first thing we're going to do is take out the 11 screws that hold this thing together. There are two on the bottom, easy to take out, easy to get to, get those out first, get it flipped over, and then the nine remaining on the top. Again, pretty easily identifiable. Two of these are down in the primary. You have to open up the throttle or the, uh, uh, the primary choke, uh, choke lever there and then get to those. And those are the taper headed ones. The rest of these pretty much look the same other than the two long ones that'll be back behind the secondaries you'll see in a moment. So pretty much all the same screws. Like I said, these two here that were taken out, uh, those two are your long ones that'll hold this together. Uh, otherwise, these are pretty easily identifiable. And, the, and like I said, the tapered ones that are in the primary. So take these nine screws out on the top. We've already taken the two on the bottom. And then we're taking and driving this pin out on the, this is the accelerator pump lever and drive that pin out and then that rise, rises off and then also your uh your vacuum here there's two screws there have a kind of a funny tapered head on those two so easily identifiable so once we removed we can separate the body there and then you can see we got the throttle blades we can check make sure there's no not too much slop there and then we want to look at uh something we talked about earlier these are the primary and secondary well plugs that like to leak fuel down in the intake where you saw we had the the puddle of fuel in the intake. So we need to check these out, make sure they don't leak, and we'll get back to that uh, during the rebuild. But just wanted to show you kind of an idea of what those look like with the epoxy or JB weld on them. Next, we need to remove the choke rod. So we take the screw out of the choke plate there and then uh, just pull that rod out of place. And then we can actually separate the air horn uh, from the main body of the carburetor. Pretty easily done, as you can see the metering rods there, secondary metering rods hanging down, and all your uh, little vacuum tubes. And then there's the accelerator pump. We'll want to check that out. We'll replace that during the rebuild. Now these are your primary metering rods that meters the fuel on the primary side. Uh, and then we're going to remove the float bowl insert that protects the float. And now we're just going to pull out the float, which will bring out the needle and seat with it. 
And once we do that, then we can just kind of take a look at the float, see what we think about that, inspect that. And here it is. Here's the carburetor taken apart. Here's all the pieces. That's about as far as we're going to take it. Uh, once we dig into it, if we spot something that we don't like, then maybe we'll dig in a little further. Uh, but there you have it. Hey, so thanks for watching the removal and disassembly of the Quadrajet carburetor. So part two of this series will be focusing on rebuilding this carburetor and then reinstalling it and tuning it in part three. So stick around, keep an eye out for us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.